I had gone down to bed that night when four of these beings came into my house. And I was still awake, laying down in my bed. I don't know where they came from or how, but they came in very fast into the room, heading toward me. And then they were all down the side of my bed, four of them, again, um, to my right. I turned to face face them. I mean, I, I was I really, literally thought I was going to die. The beings measured three feet eleven. They appeared very cold. It's really, really disturbing to be in a room with something that isn't supposed to exist. I was taken on the craft. I was brought to some very contained room. I can't talk about what was done there because it's too personal. It's just unbelievable. Most of the abduction experiences that I've had have been from my bed um, in the middle of the night. This is not all, however, the great majority. I'll be in bed and um, I will somehow sense fear. I'll sense something in the room and at some point, I can't move. I couldn't move my head left or right, but I could kind of look down at the foot of the bed and I saw people standing at the foot of my bed. I see these eyes, these eyes are just looking right through me. And then I don't remember anything. I woke up the following morning. Through hypnotic regression, I came to realize that there was a, a spaceship, maybe 100 feet in the air off to the left of my front of my house and the, an alien came in, was next to, my, next to my bed. It put its hand out, and I put my hand out. Sort of a chalky skin. Um, very dried to the touch. And I don't really remember how, but suddenly we were sort of floating. They brought me in front of a being that was so horrifying that uh, I'll never be able to, you know, put it out of my memory. It was a... Uh, very tall, probably about seven foot tall. Very um, tall and very thin very and very scary. And, and sometimes insect. almost um, like an insect, um, very frightening to me. And I found myself in this room and I was lying on this stretcher and this being, I, I don't even know how to say this. He started to put my legs apart. They put like a jock strap on you of some sort with a tube attached to it and it runs to a machine and they somehow extract sperm. I don't know how they do it. And this female brought a baby and, and she sort of handed him to me. And I instantly said, I, I, uh, this baby is mine. I know, I know he's mine. She pulled the baby away from me and said, no, this baby is ours. I was driving. 